Hi there and welcome to Stumble Upon. I'm going to take you through this website so you understand exactly how you can use it to get more traffic and increase your bottom line. So the first thing you're going to do is sign up with Stumble Upon. This is their login. You would click here and fill out the information. They'll send you an email, confirm it, and you're good to go. Okay, this is my page. So I use Stumble Upon quite a bit as you can see. Now, 33 thumbs up, outstanding. Three fans that are following what I'm doing. And I'm still doing extremely well. So, what you need to do is download their browser button. Not download, but put it on your browser so you can make the most of this website. You will have a button when you sign up where you'll literally just click it and drag it up above into your browser. That's with either Internet Explorer or Firefox. So what I'm going to do now is show you what you can do to maximize the benefits of this site. The first thing is that this is a social networking site. So you need to find friends. These people will follow what you do. So the way to find friends is to just find people. Very simple. These people have visited my profile, so they have been recommended to be my friends. Active stumblers are all here. So take a look through, click on their information, and see what they are stumbling. If they're stumbling things that would help you, here is top three web hosts, and I'm an internet marketer, so that's something that would actually jive with some of the information that I post. So this is a great perspective friend. What I would next do is, here's his group. You take a look at all of his stuff to make sure that everything works. Now, you click up there and add them as a friend. Nice and easy. So, if I go through and see all the people that have visited me, that's not people, that's groups. I'll go back to that. All you do is click here, add as a friend, and it's done. It doesn't take any insane amount of difficulty, so it's really very simple. You click on their face, add as a friend. So, here are groups that I have personally joined. Now, what you can see here is that there are tons of groups. Now, what happens is when you join these groups, people can see you as time goes on. And again, it's just a simple click and it's done. But the more you go through and do these things, the easier you're going to be seen. And as you visit these groups, what happens is your avatar pops up right there. The avatar I'm using is of my son. He's much more attractive than I am. So go through some of these and see what the options are. There are tons of different groups and you can see that they are pretty high in numbers. So definitely something you want to take a look at. Now matches. Stumble Upon will pick potential matches for you. And again, it's as simple as clicking on their picture and adding them as a friend. It's so easy to do. You'd literally be foolish not to take advantage. Now the forum. This one right here 
what it does is it allows you to interact with the other members. So simply respond to people. It's not that hard. Now, you have to be a member of StumbleUpon for a certain period of time before you can post to the forums in different groups. This is their way of trying to halt any spam. So don't focus on forums for the first few weeks. That way you won't waste your time. So to stumble your sites, all you have to do is click on the I like it icon in your toolbar. To do that, you click on I like it. But the key to this is to add the proper information. So put up what you think of the site, choose its topic, and then select tags. What happens is people will actually stumble through different topics. So my blog is about marketing. So that would be what I choose. I would put A review based on whatever I see for the sites. So for tags, they're comma separated. Always keep an eye for things like that when you're tagging different sites. Some are space separated, so you can actually make yourself look very stupid if you put down the wrong things. Is it adult? No. Submit the site. Good to go. That's all you have to do. Now, if you really want to get some exposure, you can send your stumbles to people. You can add to your old stumbles and say more. You can go to the different places on every site, or excuse me, on StumbleUpon. You can go to the different spaces on StumbleUpon, the different channels. You can go and view your favorites. You can go and view your friends. Now, the thing that you have not heard previously, probably anywhere at this point, is that the main thing you want to do is you have to have something that takes advantage of your user immediately when they get there. This is called a squeeze page. What you do is you offer something of value to people, whether it's a, a free report, an autoresponder series, a video, it really does not matter. but. The point is you have to give something of value and get them to take action. So having an autoresponder capture form on the page that you stumble and send people to is the smartest thing you can do. Make sure to tag it with relevant tags and put it in the proper category. Then what happens is people will click stumble and they'll just go through. Simply go through all the sites and see what kind of cool stuff there is. So if you have something that gets them to take action and get them to sign up for your newsletter, you can then market to them repeatedly. So that's how you take advantage of what StumbleUpon gives you. They give you tons and tons and tons of different features where you can take advantage of what they're offering you and market to the members of this site. There are thousands upon thousands of them. And honestly, going through StumbleUpon, you will find some very cool stuff. But as you can see, it's not being taken advantage of as much as it could be. But you'll find great cool sites and you will get new customers by using the information I've just presented to you. So take advantage of this and enjoy StumbleUpon.